Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. There are few, if any, fly patterns that are quite as effective as a woolly bugger. Woolly buggers have caught nearly every species of fish that swim in both salt and fresh water. They just plain work. This bugger, intended for trout, starts with a size 6 long shanked streamer hook. After getting the hook firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise, load a bobbin with the spool of olive unithread. Get the thread started on the hook shank behind the eye and after taking seven or eight wraps rearward, snip off the excess tag. Solder wire is used to add some weight to the fly. Pick up the coil and get hold of the bitter end. Place the end on top of the hook shank above your tying thread and take a few nice tight wraps to secure it. With the coil in hand, begin taking rearward touching wraps with the wire behind your tying thread, pushing the thread up as you go. After 10 or so wraps, anchor the wire to the hook shank with wraps of tying thread, then rock the wire up and down to break it off close and clean. Take thread wraps over top of the solder wire to ensure it's locked down well. End with your tying thread at the back edge of the wire. For the tail of the fly, snip one of the marabou feathers in half and get hold of the tip section. You want to measure a hook length long tail based on the real fuzzy fibers. Be sure to disregard their stringy tips. While keeping the measurement, snip the excess butt end of the feather off square at the location of your tying thread. Then, begin taking thread wraps to secure it to the top of the hook shank all the way back to the start of the bend. Use your fingernails to tear the stringy tips off of the marabou to leave a more natural look than simply cutting them off with your tying scissors. Pull down on your bobbin to expose about 5 inches of tying thread. Pluck an ample quantity of the olive green SST dubbing free from the packet. Use the dubbing to create a 4 inch long noodle on your tying thread, then start taking wraps with the noodle so the dubbing begins right at the base of the tail. Take touching wraps forward up the hook shank to create a slender body on the fly. If you run out of dubbing, go back to the packet and pluck out a little more and use that to create a short dubbing noodle. Then wrap that forward, leaving an eye length space behind the back edge of the hook eye. To hackle the fly, get hold of one of the black saddle hackle feathers and with the shiny or front side facing you, strip the lower fuzzy fibers free from both sides of the stem. Gently preen down a few more fibers and snip the excess bare stem off. Trim the fibers into a Christmas tree shape then shorten it if necessary to create a small tie-in anchor. Strip a few more fibers from the top side of the stem to ensure the feather wraps correctly. Lay the tie-in anchor against the near side of the hook and take nice tight thread wraps to secure it behind the eye. Pull the feather forward and out of the way. This will allow you to make open spiral thread wraps over top of the dubbed body all the way down to the base of the marabou tail. Get hold of the hackle feather and take two or three wraps with it, one directly behind the other. Then make open spiral wraps down the body of the fly. Five or six usually looks good. When you reach your tying thread, use it to anchor the feather's tip, then pull forward on the tip to break it off close. Wind your tying thread forward through the hackle, doing your best not to trap fibers as you go. When you get in front of the hackle, sweep it back and continue taking thread wraps to build up a nice little head on the fly. Pick up your whip finish tool and use it to complete a 5 or 6 turn back to front whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip or cut your tying thread free. Get hold of your head cement and apply an ample drop to the exposed thread wraps to make sure they don't come unraveled and that the hackle feather can't pull free. And that's a basic olive and black woolly bugger. You can never have too many of these in your fly box.